Fellas, hold on more quick. I just found a Cali King. And I'm trying to get him out of this yucca. Youch! Crap, these things are sharp. One sec. Oh. Look at this gorgeous girl. Golly, this is the California King Snake. Lampropeltus jatula california and these guys are one of three jatula species over here or subspecies over here in arizona and we've actually captured almost all three subspecies we got the cali king which is one of my favorites i mean look at this black with white zebra stripe pattern or band pattern then we also got the desert king and then the last one we were missing was the mexican black king and we called an integrative it. So it didn't really count, but kind of did. We kind of got 50% of it. We got an integrate between a Mexican black and a desert king. And he was absolutely beautiful. He had black as his pretty much primary ground color, but then he had a little bit of modeling from the desert king. You could tell he was definitely an integrate. But these Cali kings, this is my first one. And uh, golly, they're just something you'd think you'd see in the pet store. And these fellas, just like the other Chitulas, are great at eating snakes. They actually specialize in it. They specialize in the sense that they're almost immune to snake venom. And while it's not an exact immunity, they are heavily resistant to it. They can take a bite from pretty much any rattlesnake, even coral snakes, out here in the desert and feed on them. And these guys will eat them opportunistically, so it doesn't really uh, become their main part of their diet. They'll also eat rodents, birds, lizards, eggs, frogs. They'll eat just about anything. They're kind of like garbage disposals out in the desert. They chow down on anything and everything. This dude's actually a little baby guy. I mean, he's maybe, maybe 24 inches in length. And they can get all the way up to four, six feet in some huge adult. But most of the time, they'll average around three and a half to four feet. Absolutely beautiful snake. And it's weird the way you think, you, oh my gosh, how could I see this pretty of a snake out here in just this barren desert? But this camouflage actually works fantastic. Whenever they're moving around at nighttime, which these guys are primarily nocturnal, but we're hunting in the morning times, so you can get them early, early mornings as well. Whenever they're moving at nighttime, this black and this white helps to just blend them in to that nightlife color. The, the, of course, the dark, the black helps to blend them into the shadows, and that white breaks them up in the moonlight, whatever's lit up by the moon. Absolutely gorgeous snake. And then the cool thing is whenever they encounter a rattlesnake, that rattlesnake just completely changes his disposition. He goes into survival mode. And these guys will aim typically for the head. They don't all the time get them right on the head, but they'll aim for that head. They'll bite them right there, then they'll coil around, constrict, and they can constrict for hours. I mean, they, I've seen rattlesnakes pretty much stay inside their coils for around an hour, two hours of constriction time. Then they'll start eating them. Some of them will just start downing them without even constricting them. They'll just bite them and go ahead and start eating them without even constricting them. Most rattlesnakes put up a pretty good thrashing though, so most of them have to pretty much succumb to the constriction that the king snake puts on them. Absolutely awesome snake. Every time I catch a king snake, I have to praise God because these are hands down one of my favorite snakes. They're always beautiful, and the Cali King's kind of got a reputation for being a little bit more hostile than the Desert King. I'm so used to Desert Kings. Desert Kings are extremely placid, very nice, but this Cal King is definitely breaking that mold. I mean, look at how sweet he is. You'd think this is a store-bought guy. I mean, look at how nice he is. He's just moving around. And this is not common. Like most of the time, whenever you get them, they'll typically ball up into a ball, protect their head. They'll put musk on you. I mean, these guys are known as poopers. They will poop that musk all over you, and it'll just stink to high heaven. And then they're also known for whenever they go inside of that little ball to hide their head, they'll push their little nose against your hand, and then they'll just start biting on you. It doesn't hurt at all, but it's just one of those things most people don't like getting bit by a snake. So they're like, oh my gosh, what is that? Uh, not a big deal. Inconsequential to these guys because they're non-venomous and definitely awesome snakes for the environment. So we got to praise God for this fellow. We'll let him go on his way. I got to put him back in his yucca plant. But California king snake, guys, absolutely awesome specimen. Daggum sticker bush. He's not even going to constrict him, he's just going to down him. 